Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the first new video on Python tutorial. In this tutorial, you're gonna learn how you can extract some useful metadata within images using Pillow Library in Python. Okay, to get started, you need to install Pillow Library. Uh, for that, uh, you have to open command prompt and uh, type pip install pillow. Okay, and just hit enter. So I have already installed it. You can see your requirement already satisfied. Okay, so yeah, uh, open up new Python file and start coding. Okay, so we can set first uh, uh, necessary model. Okay, uh, then we're gonna do our logic. Okay. Okay, so we have uh, set importing necessary model. Uh, now we'll uh, do a reading of data from the image. Okay, so now this is only for JPEG image files. Okay, uh, this will only work on JPEG image file. So now we'll read the image data. Okay, so after reading image, let's open a get exif method, uh, which will return image data. Okay, let me command it. Okay, uh, let's uh, open uh, get uh, exif. Okay, so get exif uh, uh, method, uh, which returns image data. Okay, which is returns image data. So uh, now we're gonna open, we're gonna uh, execute a get exif method uh, that returns image data and we're gonna store that data in uh, exif data variable. Okay, so exif data, we have made that variable uh, and we're gonna store data. Okay, so image dot uh, get uh, exif. Okay, so it can open that image okay, sorry sorry you can read uh, that uh, uh, image data and store in the exif data okay so our exif data have computer understandable ids not the name okay not something like um, uh, like uh, okay so uh, basically we are printing something like this okay so uh, if uh, so let's take a example that our image contains and data something like a name equals to image name okay so uh, image one dot jpeg so this is the data from that image okay let us suppose okay and here you can see the name and uh, okay so you can see the name this takes name and this takes image one dot jpeg okay the text name and the text image one dot jpg are in ids not in the name of name okay so these are in ids computer understandable ids and we have to convert them into a uh, name okay uh, which is human understandable and we're gonna need tag dictionary from pil dot exif tag model okay uh, we're gonna need uh, tax uh, dictionary from pill exif tax model. Okay, ignore if any spelling is mistake. <laughs> okay, so and we, so what we gonna do now? Okay question is what we're gonna do now so the answer is that uh, we are reading for each tag ids stored in this exif data okay we're gonna read each ids stored in exif data so we're using for loop and we're using as 
for tag IDs in exif data okay so for tag IDs in exif data we're gonna do uh, we're gonna convert the tag IDs into name okay so convert uh, IDs into name and store them in variable called tag okay so after that after that we're gonna extract the data we're gonna extract the data okay we're gonna extract the data and store them in a variable called data okay now now if the data extracted data are in bytes okay if the extracted data are in bytes we're gonna convert them we can oh sorry we're gonna decode them okay uh we will decode if the data are in bytes okay now okay so these are the method we're gonna perform now okay so i'm using okay, let me okay so now i'm using for loop so for uh okay so tag so for tag for tag data for tag id is an exit data tags equals to tags dot get tag id comma tag id okay this will convert extract convert okay and now we're gonna extract we're gonna extract the data okay so data equals to uh, x if the x if data dot get tag underscore id so we can extract the data and store them in the variable data now if these data are in byte okay so these data are in byte then we're gonna decode it so for that i'm using if is instance is instance data comma bytes okay okay now let me explain this function okay so uh, basically this function is something like is instance instance uh, 5 comma int okay so you can see if this 5 is integer then it will return true okay this function will return true and similarly if these data are in bytes okay similarly if these data are in byte then we can decode it so and we can decode it uh, decode it and store them in the variable data okay so data equals to uh, data dot decode okay now finally we're gonna print print formatting and we're gonna print this tag because it is converted into uh woman understandable form and something like is 240 i'm be, i'm giving you something like 40 and it's two oh and you can print we're gonna print this data okay so it will print uh, something like uh, this okay so name okay it's gonna print name which is stored in uh, tag uh, okay so this is just example uh, okay uh, later you can uh, uh, you will see the output okay so uh, uh, it can print something like uh, this okay so name is 2 uh, and you can see 40 so it's gonna print a uh, 40 space and finally it will print the data here okay and data may be anything just like uh, img image one dot uh, jpeg okay so let's run and see what will be the output okay you can see uh, uh, okay so you can see something like a uh, software snapseed 2.0 so I'm I have used this uh, image in the program so basically uh, it is edited from snapseed and you can see the output uh, here you can see software snaps it 2.0 I can see saturation construct con so sorry uh, contrast okay so model uh, okay so uh, make Samsung uh, okay so it, it is taken from Samsung and model is SMM20 that is Samsung M20 mobile phone okay? and other okay 
uh, other information you can see here and let's see uh, our script okay let's see our script this main.py uh, i have uh, include this uh, uh, image meta data extractor in this script okay so for that we have to open our command prompt and just uh, give our library so python bin dot part start okay so we can see in Oops network and you can see the number five image meta data extract and what's it twice and i'm giving it five and enter. into the target image five okay so our target is image one dot j sorry jpeg okay so we can hit enter so it is searching for image one dot jpeg uh on our window okay so it will take i think three or four seconds okay so we have got this data and you can see the same data uh, okay so i'll show you guys just something okay software is snaps it to open zero model okay so you can see a date also and time also here and other all the data okay okay so height uh, saturation temperature all this thing and here it is asking for do and to continue and as for why and now for end so i'm giving it now so yeah this was for today tutorial uh hope to see you on next one